welcome back to my channel it's your girl nicole and we're back with another video don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel while you're here and put on your notification bell so you don't miss a video with your girl nicole let's talk fashion people if i'm not a fashion statement i don't know what it is would you jump up in today's video i wanted to do a fun one i feel like last week's was a little sad not happy so i wanted to do tips that I wish that I knew when I got injured, clothing wise. Just gonna give you a little bit of my tips that I've learned. And I'm gonna give you tips that I've seen, as you all know, my sister's paralyzed as well. So I'm in a manual chair, she's in a power chair. So things that would work, I, I personally feel like universal because I've seen it on my sister, I've seen it on me. Me and my sister also have different body types. So these things just seem to work all around now of course everyone's style is different so adapt it in your own way make it your own style so let's get into it tip one t-shirts when you get injured easy peasy things that won't move are t-shirts let's be real but they don't gotta be ugly i feel like everyone when people think t-shirts they think like ugly and t-shirts don't have to be ugly one thing that i found and i'm gonna just show you i feel like it's not really important to show but i'm gonna show it is i love the playboy collection from misguided i will link their playboy in the description below love their line literally everything has this it's like the smallest little detail but i personally love that so find t-shirts you love and like buy them get them love them i don't like t-shirts never have liked t-shirts so for me t-shirts are when I get t-shirts, they're because they're more functional, I feel like. But I like to get cute t-shirts. Another one I love is t-shirts that are dope. And I have to share this one. Is my I Love Sarah E. In Sabas t-shirt. Uh, it's such a statement piece, you know? Especially if you have a t-shirt that just like... That just is like, bam, pretty cute. And I feel like my sister would agree. Would you, Ab? Like a cute t-shirt changes your outfit. That's my sister's style, and that's why I wanted to incorporate that. That works for power shares, wheelchairs. A t-shirt tip that I have is buy it smaller than you would normally wear it. Now, of course, keep your tatas in mind. Keep your shoulders in mind. And you can also cut them, but crop shirts work, which I guess leads me to my second tip. Second tip, I used to hate crop tops. Still kind of do. But... They don't look like crop tops anymore when i put that's all i have now that's literally all my drawer is so i'm going to show you two kind of crop tops that i like personally and one is my summertime fave i mean i'll put a bunch of pictures and like a bunch of different crop tops i have but crop tank tops people crop tank tops i'm gonna show you this this one i've actually had before my accident but this top the this top is what showed me that crop tops are the way to go because let me show you so this is a size medium, and I'm usually a size small or medium, always depends. Uh, for crop tops, you can get them a little bigger. So now I would say I'm like a small. So this medium fits perfect. It fits, let me move this freaking camera as you guys can see. <laughs> this, this, like when you put it on, obviously it's not on, right? but this is a crop top. You see how perfect this shirt, actually this is a crop shirt how perfect this shirt sits right here and then my hips are right here. Crop tops as a wheelchair user are your go-to ladies. Right up. They fit beautifully. They sit right. And then I, like I said, I was never a crop top wearer. So I had to find all these things after I got injured. Long sleeve crop tops. They're just so pretty. You don't have to wear bras with them. We love that. We love a no bra queen. Uh, I don't wear bras personally because um, if you all don't know, I have I fractured my ribs, so I have a lot of pain. So sometimes I don't wear bras. Most times I don't wear bras. And crop tops, like get a crop top that has like thick on your titas, and you're set to go. So those are my tips when it comes to shirts, crop tops, cute t-shirts. Um, this is a crop top. That's why it's crazy that I'm wearing this. And this is a crop top. Now let's get into pants. So that was kind of my tops i'll speak about outerwear in just a little bit but i haven't really figured out outerwear yet i'm not even gonna lie pants so i'm really thankful that before my accident i was into the pants that i feel like personally fit wheelchair users the best 
And I would say my sister, right? You've had a different experience. Like this is the style that we found in wheelchairs is oh, way, like pants wise, is way different than what your style was before. Oh yeah, for sure. For me, I was a preschool teacher. Some of you don't know. And comfy cute was the style to go. So I would constantly be wearing like, like cute little joggers with like a top like this or like cute little joggers with like a blazer and a nice little tang underneath. Like I, that's how I would dress as a teacher. So thankfully when I transitioned into wheelchair and realized that my style had to be a little different and things like that, those types of pants we're still the move, sis, okay? So, so that's my advice when it comes to pants. Cute, bomb jogging pants, and opposite from what I said about shirts, buy your pants bigger. The reason I buy pants bigger, quads, pairs out there of the world. We got, we get the pair of belly, you know? Um, if your injury is not by your belly, you're gonna, your belly is going to stick out. You cannot squeeze it in. And that's okay, we all have guts. When I used to sit before my accident, my gut came out. I sit now and it comes out. Accept it, love it, PSA, okay people? Love your flub, it's normal. But my tip, so you can have that like a snatch look, I guess they would call it, or like more of a contoured figure right there. Buy bigger and another tip is have a bigger band in leggings. So sometimes leggings will come with a little band like like tiny buy a thicker band this one's not even actually as thick as i would personally buy it but these pants are just nice soft and warm and they actually fit me good so these pants once again let's see what size i got them in oh these are medium so for me like i said i fluctuate through sizes so medium and large and obviously these looked a little i'm when i'm in pants i'm a medium and large so usually i'll go instead of doing a medium which i usually is like my set size I'll do a large and make it bigger, but these, when I looked at them in the store, and you'll learn, you'll learn. When I looked at them in the store, I was like, oh no, those as a medium would fit perfectly. Because the problem too, you don't want to buy too big of pants, and then you have all this extra fabric. You want to, you just got to learn your body. If you have to, buy from the, my, what I did is Misguided was the first store that I bought like literally everything from. And I literally brought a medium in one style of pants and then I wanted like the same one but in a different color and I brought it in a large. And that's when I got it, I was like, oh, you know what? I like their style, I like it in a large. Their style, I like it in a medium. And you'll just learn. Another tip, so those were leggings. Another tip with jogging pants. These are actually ones that I had before. So the ones I just showed you I had got after. Oh my God, these are all messed up. I should have fixed them. How embarrassing. <laughs> I don't fold my clothes, people. They go in the drawer clothes, but if I took them out to try to put an outfit together with it, they do not. So these I had actually before my accident, you're going to be able to tell they like look so run down. But I want to kind of just show you because I was like, I was trying to pull out like a pants that I had before because you want to work as someone newly injured. You want to work with what you got at first. We can't afford to buy crazy outfits when you become disabled. Usually you just just not the case, right? So pants like this, it kind of looks weird. Now these are just, this is just an example. I have so many pants like this right up. I have so many jogging pants, but like I said, I was a teacher and like, I would literally wear this with like a black blazer when I would go teach. You can dress up jogging pants. I hate, I hate the misconception that, oh, because we're wheelchair users, we wear jogging pants and we look like we didn't even try. I'm like, I wore jogging pants my like my whole life. Like this is my style. I love jogging pants. I would wear jogging pants out with heels. Like I love jogging. <laughs> I freaking love jogging pants. So I just want to sit here and like trash that stigma. Stigma. Just don't. Just dress it up. You can dress up jogging pants, my dudes. Like so. Get this a tie on your pants. That's tip. I don't even know what tip I'm on. Tip four get strings on your pants see the other pants did it you get a string on your pants y'all you can snatch yourself so pull them up now ashley will tell you i pull my pants all the way up to my boobies right now <laughs> she's back there like so basically snatch it you go like this um it's also a tip that i taught my sister she gets bigger pants and you pull them up you pull them up to your tits <laughs> let me move the camera to show you guys <laughs> 
You pull them up to your tits, or maybe a little lower, and you snatch it, tie it, and it gives you that, like, I don't know, I personally love it. Uh, I know, and this is too, this video is not going to be for everyone because at the end of the day, we all have different styles, we all have different things that we like. I'm just here to give that person newly injured or even someone who's still struggling with their style, you can figure it out, you can do it, you're gorgeous, your body's beautiful. Yes, it's paralyzed now, but remind yourself how gorgeous you are. Now, my last tip, and then we'll get into outerwear, is matching sets. I'm gonna thank my sister on this one because if she didn't buy me my first matching set, I would've never knew that I like matching sets because I never wore matching sets before my accident. So, so matching sets, this is one that I personally love and I'm pretty sure you've seen it on my in my social medias. I'll put a picture. I'll put a picture on everything if I can find. Uh, a matching cute set. Uh, honestly, this is a crop top. These are the pants. Now, what size did I get this in? Because obviously when you buy sets, you have to get in one size. I got in a medium, so I didn't size up for the bottoms, but I sized up for the top and it probably like balanced itself out. But the this set, is a vibe after this set i got so many other sets and if you want me to do a video on all the other clothes i have i can literally dig in my closet and show you guys but these are just some pieces that i pulled together right now matching sets though game changer now uh one other thing one side note that i wanted to mention is i have a black wheelchair it's all black matte black uh and i used to love the color black but when I got injured, I felt like when I wore the color black that I sunk into my chair. Like, I was like, you can't even see that like I'm rocking an outfit, baby. So I, I ventured out to colors. I ventured out to patterns. I used to not be like a huge pattern person, like really little, but now I love patterns. It makes you stand out. It pops you out. I love putting different patterns together. Sometimes with this shirt, I wear my flannel. I'll wear a a cheetah headband it just looks cute and like i said everybody styles different right let's get into outerwear so as you can see behind me this is my closet all outerwear you got my robe right here i need to move that i don't know why it's there it's usually not there uh but i got all my jackets now after my accident i did not go buying new jackets i live in chicago so it is always cold here if i would have got rid of all my jackets i would have literally probably thrown out i don't even know how much money because in chicago you have sweaters jackets all of that up the yang that's what you wear on a daily basis it's cold here so my advice for jackets once again cropped when i first got injured i bought two jackets that were not cropped and i'm not too happy with those purchases i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of like i should have got them cropped but i didn't know these tips beforehand so if you're watching this video and you're thinking about buying an outfit or something buy it cropped you're not gonna regret it buy it cropped and up the size I keep saying that because I don't, I want you to know. So with sweaters, crop tops, like that Playboy collection I was telling you about, I have a Playboy sweater, I'll insert a picture. And it's cropped and it's cute. And another tip with sweaters, another tip, I wish I could pull out, I don't, can't think of a sweater that has it, but I know I have them. Sweaters that have at the bottom, like say this is the sweater, I'm gonna pull up this shirt. Say this is the sweater right here. They have where you could like tie it those look cute with your pants pulled up to your boobs tying the top it just gives it what what i'm like suggesting here is gives you shape it gives you a figure and it looks really hella cute uh yeah those are like my little tips there let me know if you want another video and i can do a video on what shoes i wear as a paraplegic that didn't take me as long to figure out, but low key, I still sometimes feel like I'm figuring that out. So we're going to stick this video to close. Stick to close in this video. But leave in the comments below if you want a shoe one, because I do have a good collection of shoes, if I don't say so myself. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope these tips helped anyone out there who's trying to revamp their style as a wheelchair user and just want some tips on what will work best always in a seating majority of your time seating position even if you are able to walk once in a while and you have like a type of spinal cord injury that you're able to walk every once in a while these are things that work for sitting this can even work for an able-bodied person who's sitting at a desk all the time these are cute options don't limit yourself I'm like don't, so. <laughs> don't limit yourself because you're in a wheelchair you can still be beautiful you can still be bomb anyways thank you so much for watching 
Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Bye.